Valencia, officially the city of Valencia, Cebuano, Dakbayan Sa Valencia, Filipino, Lungsod ng Valencia, or simply referred to as Valencia City, is a second-class city in the province of Bukidnon, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 192,993 people. Valencia attained its city status after the ratification of Republic Act No. 8985 on January 12, 2001. The city is the most populous among all cities and municipalities, and the sixth largest in terms of area in the province of Bukidnon. It is also the most populous inland, landlocked city in Mindanao. It is the third largest city in northern Mindanao in terms of population, after Cagayan de Oro and Iligan City respectively. The city serves as the center of trade and commerce in the province of Bukidnon. History Origins the territory that now comprises the city of Valencia is combined from 13 barangays of the city of Malaybalay, Bukidnon. The earliest inhabitants in the area, presently comprising part of the Poblacion, were Bukidnon natives who founded a settlement along the banks of Palangi River and the confluence of the Dumangas River. The pioneers were led by Darwin Dumangas Manankila together with the families of the Binalhays, Lagas, Dongogans, Gua Ans, Lanayans, and the Arenzos. The first site of the settlement was a sitio named Panglabatuan, because the area was thickly forested by tree species called by the natives as Malabato trees. In 1911, a one-room barrio school was opened, and its first teacher was the late Leon Galorport. The school site is approximately the present location of the Poblacion Barangay High School. Galorport, who came from his hometown, Valencia, Bohol named the school, Valencia School. When the sitio became a barrio of Malaybalay, the resident agreed to name it Valencia. Finally, when the southern portion of Malaybalay was separated as a new municipality, the petitioners agreed to name the municipality as Valencia. The barrio which was Valencia is now Barangay Poblacion and is the seat of the city government of Valencia. The rich natural resources found in the territory eventually attracted Christian settlers from the highly populated coastal areas of Mindanao, Visayas and Luzon Islands. Political birth the prime mover in the creation of Valencia as a municipality was Teodoro Pepito, who spearheaded a petition by the residents of Barrio Valencia and neighboring barrios to convert the territory into a full-fledged municipality. The petition was forwarded to the provincial board of the Bukidnon province for consideration. The provincial board passed a resolution approving the creation of the municipality of Valencia and forwarded the same to the office of the President of the Philippines. By virtue of the provisions of Executive Order No. 360, the municipality of Valencia was formally born on January 16, 1961. In 1961, President Carlos P. Garcia appointed Teodoro Pepito and Ernesto Garcia as the mayor and vice mayor respectively. Upon the election of President Diosdado Macapagal in November 1961, another set of municipal officials were appointed, with Lucilo Alquino as municipal mayor and Solomon Gao I as vice mayor. Thus, between 1962 and 1963, two sets of municipal officials have served the municipality of Valencia. During the regular local election in November 1963, Pepito won and became the first elected mayor, with Ernesto Garcia as the vice mayor. Mayor Pepito was re-elected in 1967 and again in 1971. However, before his term expired in 1975, martial law was declared by President Ferdinand Marcos in 1972 and elections for local officials were suspended. Mayor Pepito continued to hold office as mayor until 1978, when he retired from government service. The vice mayor, Absalon Catarata, succeeded as municipal mayor until 1979, when President Ferdinand Marcos appointed Santiago Davlio as acting mayor of Valencia. In 1980 local elections, Absalon Catarata was elected municipal mayor, with Romulo Macalud as vice mayor together with all the councillors in the opposition ticket. In February 1986, the People Power Revolution in Manila took place and Corazon Aquino became the President of the Republic. During the campaign for the approval of the new constitution, the municipal government under the leadership of Absalon Catarata wholeheartedly supported it. 
In January 1988, Catarata was re-elected as mayor and his running mate, Berthobal Anqueta was elected as vice mayor together with seven councillors under his party. Months later, he was elected president of the Bukidnon Mayor's League and similarly as president of the Mayor's League of Region 10. On the evening of April 21, 1988, Absalon Catarata was fatally shot by an unknown assassin in front of his residence while waiting for his service vehicle which would have fetched him to an evening program at the town plaza. After his death, Vice Mayor Berthobal Anqueta became the municipal mayor, and Aphrodisia Catarata, the wife of then mayor, was appointed member of the Sangguniang Bayan. In the synchronized elections of 1990, Mayor Berthobal Anqueta was re-elected while Aphrodisia Catarata was elected as vice mayor up to June 2001. Cityhood by virtue of Republic Act 8985, an act converting the municipality of Valencia in the province of Bukidnon into a component city known as the City of Valencia on January 12, 2001. In 2001 elections, José Galario Jr., former chief of police of the city was elected as city mayor, while the son of then-mayor, Absalon Catarata and former vice-mayor Aphrodisia Catarata was also elected as the city's vice-mayor in the person of Leandro José Catarata. During the 2004 local elections, both the incumbent mayor and vice mayor run for the position of city mayor. Jose Galario Jr. emerged as the winning candidate together with Benjamin Verano as vice mayor. In the 2007 elections, incumbent mayor Jose Galario Jr. lost to his rival, Leandro Jose Catarata for city mayor. Benjamin Verano was re-elected as vice mayor of the city. In the 2010 general elections, incumbent Leandro José Catarata was re-elected for a second term, while Benjamin Verano Sr., Catarata's running mate, won the vice mayoralty position of the city of Valencia. However early in 2010, Verano died at office and was replaced by Azucena Herbas, the president of Valencia's Association of Barangay Captains. On June 9, 2014, Vice Mayor Azucena Herbas assumed the mayorship of the city after the conviction of Mayor Galario for violating the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act RA 3019, in relation to his order transferring Ruth Keith Keanu from Budget Office to a non-existing Office of City Liaison Officer. May 9, 2016 elections, Mayor Azucena P. Herbas was elected by the people of Valencia against her rivals, Amy G. Galario, Renato Sentias, and Leandro José H. Catarata. Geography Valencia City is located in the central part of the province of Bukidnon. It is bounded on the north by the municipality of Lantapan and Malaybalay City, on the east by the municipality of San Fernando, on the west and southwest by the municipalities of Pongantucan and Talacag, and on the south by the municipalities of Maramag and Quezon. From its core, which is the Poblacion, the city is 27 kilometers from the provincial capital of Malaybalay City and 118 kilometers from the regional center of Cagayan de Oro City. The means of transportation is by bus and private vehicles and covers approximately two to three hours ride. The relative distance of the barangay from the city proper varies, 4 barangays are more or less 5 km away, 20 barangays are 6 to 15 km away, while the remaining 7 barangays considered as the most interior, are situated 16 km or more from the city proper. There are no seaports in the city because the place is landlocked. The nearest airports and seaports are in Cagayan de Oro City and Davao City. Topography. The city's topography is characterized as flat to undulating hills with extensive plateaus and mountainous areas and cliffs on both eastern and western portions bounding the municipality of San Fernando on the east and the municipality of Talacag on the west. Its highest point is Mount Calatungan in the Calatungan mountain range rising above 1,000 meters and above 50% slopes. These cover 25.72% of the total city area and major portions of Barangay of Lourdes, Guinoyuran and Lilingayon. Elevation The city's average elevation is 300 meters above sea level. Elevation above 1,000 meters has a bigger area coverage with 28.93% of the total city area or 18,262.79 hectares. 
while elevation below 300 meters covers only 7.0% of total city area or 4,419.78 hectares. Elevation ranges from 300 to 500 meters covers an area of 27,591.10 hectares or 43.70% of the total city area. 500 minus 1,000 meter elevation covers an area of 18,262.79 hectares or 28.93% of total city area. Slope the area distribution of slope of the city are categorized into level to gently sloping having a slope range of 0 to 3% covering an area of 6,962.53 hectares or 11.02% of the total city area, gently sloping to undulating having a slope range of 3 to 8% covering an area of 18,914.79 hectares or 29.96% of total city area, undulating to rolling having a slope range of 8 to 18% covering an area of 3,646.33 hectares or 5.78% of the total city area, rolling to hilly having a slope range of 18 to 30% with an area coverage of 11,306.28 hectares or 17.92% of the total city area, steep hills to mountainous having a slope of 30 to 50% with area coverage of 6,062.53 hectares or 9.60% of the total city city area and, cliff-like streamline having a slope range of 50% above covering an area of 16,233.54 hectares or 25.72% of the total area. Geology and soil type Valencia City is underlain by three distinct geologic formations. Volcanic rocks believed to be of Pliocene Quaternary Age underlie the areas west of Palongi River. The areas east of the broad plains in Valencia City are underlain by stratified sequence of clastic sedimentary rocks and limestone. Alluvial deposits are unconsolidated detrital materials transformed from higher landforms. The city generally has clay soil with Adtian clay covering 27.89% of the total city area suitable for annual cultivated crops and pastures. These are found in all parts of Colonia, Malag, Bagantas, Barobo and San Carlos. Mopid clay ranked second with 26.86% and covers the whole of San Isidro, Siniawan, Mabuhay, and Catumbalan and large portions of Vintar, Tongantongan, Mopig and Batangan. Irrigated rice is suitable in these areas. Makolod clay ranked third with 17.51% and are generally suited for forest plantation of exotic species. Kitapawan clay loam and indifferentiated mountain soil followed and occupy a combined area of 17.70% located within Lilingayon. These areas are also suitable for production forest of native species. Other soil types are San Manuel clay loam 5. 31%, La Castellana clay 3.41%, Adtian clay stony phase 0.83%, and Malag clay loam. These types of soil are suitable for annual cultivated crops except for the cliffs along Palongi River within Poblacion and Lumbo which are not suitable for any land use. Local government City administration The city is executively administered by the mayor together with vice mayor. The legislative body comprises the members of the Sangguniang Panlungsod which serves as the city council. The mayor is the local chief executive officer of the city and exercises control and supervision over all local administrative offices, while the Sangguniang Panlungsod acts as the legislative body of the city as mandated by the local government code of the Philippines. Barangays Valencia City is politically subdivided into 31 barangays. Demographics In the 2015 census, the population of Valencia, Bukidnon, was 192,993 people, with a density of 330 inhabitants per square kilometer or 850 inhabitants per square mile. In addition, Valencia's Barangay Poblacion is the largest barangay in the province and third largest in the region according to population. Immigration of Christian settlers to the area started in the middle 1930s. 
During the Second World War, the continued migration of Christian settlers further increased the population of the area from 13,898 in 1960 to 64,541 in 1975. The population grew to 181,556 in 2010. Poblacion and adjacent areas Colloquial names Poblacion and its surroundings hold importance in the city, serving as the venue of everyday life in and near the urban center. Due to its large urban population and area, there are informal and unofficial sectors which hold cultural, social, and economic significance to the city. These areas are also referred for transportation means when riding within and from the Poblacion. Some of the important de facto sectors, areas in the urban center include Belite, a concentration of residences at the northern part of the Poblacion. Named after the large tree that once stood there. Barak, located on the western end of Lavinia Avenue. Valencia City Farmers Market, several commercial establishment and residential areas are found here. Cabanangan, areas on the upper part of Poblacion, dominated by sugarcane fields and some residences. Centro, the business center of the city from the core area of the Poblacion extending up to the boundary of Brigi. Poblacion to the south stretching Sayer Highway. Hagkal, a commercial residential area north of Poblacion stretching the Sayer Highway. Several food stores and shops, tertiary schools, auto shops and stores, hotels, residential villages, and fuel stations are found at Hagkal. Hindongan, area on the northwestern part of Poblacion after Wanala village along Hagkal. Areas are mostly residential and diversified agricultural fields. Kawayanan, an urban sitio in the lower part of Brigi. Lumbo bounding Brigi. Poblacion. Leuyan, residential area in the western bank of Palongi River near the Panlabachuan Creek. Malingan, Bagantas, currently the northernmost urban expansion of the city which is part of Brigi. Bagantas. Some commercial establishments, schools, a village, Toyota Valencia, Valencia Integrated Transport Terminal Complex, and the future Robinson's Place Valencia are located in the said area. Petisian, a rural hill in the westernmost side of Poblacion. Santa Cruz, upper portion of the Poblacion along Guinoyurin Road near the boundary of Burgues. Barobo and Poblacion, sparse residences and agricultural fields and a chapel is present in the area. Slaughter, concentration of residences on the southern slope and lower areas of a hill where the city hall is located. Named after the abattoir or slaughter house, which is located in the area. Tabak Tule, literally means, to cross the bridge, after vehicles passing eastside the Palongi or Batangan bridges from the Poblacion. This term also colloquially include most parts of Batangan. Fuel stations, residential villages, auto shops, several commercial stand and rice mills are found in the area. Upper Lumbo, Centro Lumbo, comprising the residential areas and villages in the upper portion of Brigi. Lumbo. Upland, concentration of residences south of Centro covering some parts of Parak 3 and Parak 3B of Poblacion. Other places in the urban area of the city are referred by their building, establishment names, streets, and parak. Religion The city has several sects, namely, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Church of Christ of Latter-day Saints, Jehovah's Witnesses, Iglesia Ni Cristo, United Church of Christ in the Philippines, Iglesia Sa Dios Espiritu Santo, United Methodist Church, several Baptist and Pentecostal congregations, and many others. Valencia also has five Islamic mosques around the city. There are five Roman Catholic parishes, and three quasi-parishes in the city, the parishes are under the pastoral administration of Diocese of Malaybalay. Economy Commerce and trade Valencia City is the center of trade and commerce in Bukidnon due to its central location in the heart of Mindanao and its rapid economic growth. 
The city is noted for its Valencia rice, a variety of rice. Some of the prominent retail stores in the city include Alquino Emporium, Fiesta Shopping Center, Gaisano Valencia, NBM Mall, Pure Gold, Plaza Via Hermosa, Roy Plaza, Robinson's Supermarket, Trendline, and Unitop. Soon to open include such stores as NBM Mall Guinoyurin Road and Robinson's Place Valencia, the second Robinson's Place brand in northern Mindanao after Iligan. Commercial establishments owned by Maranao, Chinese, and Korean immigrants are also found in the city. The city has ample outlets for shopping. Some of the famous known brands include Jollibee, Chowking, Greenwich, McDonald's, Red Ribbon, Goldilocks, 7-Eleven, Penshop, City Hardware, Rough Rider Jeans, Yamaha, Mitsubishi, Toyota and Honda. Commercial activities are centered on the Poblacion, particularly at the locally termed Centro. Downtown, several retail stores, banks, and commercial establishments are located in this area of Poblacion. Aside from the Centro proper, there are some commercial establishments at Hagkal, on the north portion of Poblacion. It is a result of northward urban expansion of the city. Famous motorbike and vehicle retailers, hotels, schools, hospitals and cafes are located at the Hagkal area. Of the 52 banks actively serving region of Bukidnon, 20 banks about 40 of the province, are located in Valencia City. Nine of the ten largest universal commercial banks in the country serve the city, except Union Bank. Other banks include Veterans Bank, One Network Bank, Asian United Bank, PS Bank, Bukidnon Cooperative Bank, Enterprise Bank, Dumaguete City Development Bank, Rizal Microbank, East West Rural Bank, Bank of Makati and Banco Dipolic. During the year 2013, the city had a total generated income of PHP 667,728,494. This has continued to surpass 600 million in the following years. Agriculture The city has a total land area of 63,126 hectares. 35,321.74 hectares or 55.95% of this is the total agricultural area that is suitable for crop production. This illustrates that the city is agricultural based. People depend on much of their source of income through farming, livestock, and poultry. Valencia is nicknamed as the city of golden harvest because of its vast rice plains along the barangays north and east of Palangi River. Valencia is clay-rich, soil which is highly irrigated and favorable to climatic condition, is very conducive for crop production. Tourism Valencia has several tourist destinations and events as tourist attractions Lake Apo Lake Apo is a crater lake in Barangay Guinoyoran. It is located in a hilly area about 640 meters 2, feet in elevation, about 11 kilometers 6 .8 miles west-southwest of the Barangay Poblacion, the city proper. Lake Apo was awarded the cleanest inland body of water in northern Mindanao region in the late 1990s. The green body of water has an estimated area of 24 hectares 59 acres with maximum depths reaching up to 26 meters 85 feet. Kasanayan Cave Casanayan Cave is located 6 km from City Tungan Tungan, Barangay San Vicente. The cave has several huge stalactites and are found 400 meters deep from the cave's mouth. The cave also has a river inside it. Festivals and events The Valencia City Parochial Fiesta, organized by the San Agustin Parish, in collaboration with private sectors and local government unit, is a Roman Catholic celebration of the Feast of St. Augustine. It is celebrated every 28 August, co-celebrating the feast day with Cagayan de Oro City. The City Charter Day Golden Harvest Festival, is a celebration commemorating the cityhood of Valencia. It is held annually every 6 January and is organized by the local government unit of Valencia. The Panlalawag Ta Palangi Festival is the celebration of the waters of Palangi River, through a fluvial parade. It is celebrated in honor of the people of Valencia, the river that nourishes the land, and the bamboo raft that strengthened the bond of the land to its people. 
The festival is a four-day affair that ends every second Saturday of January in celebration of its city charter, homage to its founders and as a tribute to its hard-working people. Infrastructure Transportation Valencia City is readily accessible by land. There are two functional transport terminals in the city. Jeepneys from nearby municipalities and barangays, and single motorcycles are available at Valencia City Public Transport Terminal, Old Terminal, located at Poblacion. Public utility vehicles in the Old Terminal are available for travel to the municipalities of Cadinjalan, Calalangan, Cabawe, Malaybalay City, Marimag, Quezon, San Fernando, and Wow. Buses from Cagayan de Oro City, General Santos City and Davao City are housed in the Integrated Transportation Terminal Complex located at Barangay Bagantas, approximately 3 km north from Poblacion. Pabama Transport, Rural Transit and Tours, and Super 5 serves the city with their regional routes. There are also numerous provincial buses serving the city. Tricycles, locally motorellas, and private vehicles facilitate the movement of people and goods to and from all places in the city. Traveling from Poblacion is mainly by land through all kinds of vehicles. Major thoroughfares in the city include Sayer Highway, G. Lavinia Avenue, Guinoyuran Road in extension, and Kapalong Talangad Valencia Road. Traffic in Poblacion has become a serious problem in the city, especially with the major thoroughfares. To reduce congestion of traffic in the city center, Valencia By Pass Road is under construction with its junction in Barangay Malag. The road will have its other end at Musuan, Marimag, Bukidnon. The city government also implemented a one-way traffic scheme on the whole stretch of Quezon and Mabina Street. The strict implementation of traffic rules is also observed to promote road safety and order. Common traffic choke points, which all intersect Sayer Highway, are the following, Catarata Street Junction, G. Lavinia Avenue Junction, and Batangan Bridge Junction, Kapalong Talangad Valencia Road. Public Markets Valencia City has two functional public markets. Valencia City Public Market, located at the commercial center of the city, along G. Lavinia Avenue. It serves as the central market of the population. Valencia Farmers Market, it is found along Guinoyuran Road. Located in the upper part of Poblacion, it serves as the landing area of agricultural and aquatic products from neighboring towns and provinces. It is near to the proposed second branch of NBM Mall. Parks and Venues Valencia has some event centers which allow the city to host many provincial and even regional gatherings, including the Valencia City Gymnasium, Sait Gymnasium, City Oval Grounds, Bukidnon Football Training Center, CAP Auditorium and many others. It has only one public park, which is the Plaza Rizal. Utilities the water system of the city is administered by the Valencia City Water District that serves five barangays, namely Poblacion, Lumbo, Bagantas and Malag. 29 barangays enjoy electricity supplied by the first Bukidnon Electric Cooperative. One barangay enjoys power supply by Bukidnon Second Electric Cooperative. Communication Telecommunication services are primarily offered by telephone companies such as Philcom PLDT and Sotelco, and mobile services by Smart Communications, Globe Telecom, and Sun Cellular. Internet services are also offered by Philcom PLDT, Smart Communications, and Globe Telecom. Hospitals Abella Midway Hospital Adventist Medical Center, Valencia City, Inc. Esther Hospital German Doctors Hospital Lavinia General Hospital Medidas Medical Center Valencia Medical Hospital Valencia Polymedic General Hospital, Inc. Education Colleges Valencia City has several colleges 
Several students are enrolled in studies at Central Mindanao University, part of the municipality of Maramag, approximately 7 kilometers from the city proper. Primary and secondary schools Private primary and secondary schools Almost every barangay has a public primary school, the largest of which is Valencia City Central School located in Barangay Poblacion. There are other primary secondary schools in the city. However, public secondary education is primarily offered by Valencia National High School, which is also the largest in the city. Media Free-to-air television broadcasts are provided by ABS-CBN and GMA Network through their relay broadcast towers located at Mount Katanglad in nearby Malaybalay City and MYX will transmitter located in the city. Cable television is available through Parasat Cable TV, while satellite cable are primarily provided by Dream Satellite TV and Signal Digital TV. Radio broadcasts are primarily provided by FM frequency stations such as DXCP-FM, DXWB-FM, Wild FM 92.9 FM, DXEM-FM, Gold FM 96.1, DXRP-FM, Prime FM 94.5, DXBP-FM, Hope Radio 96.9, DXCV-FM, 97.7 FM, DXAT-FM, Yes FM 104.1, and Brigda News FM Valencia, soon to air and AM stations such as DXDBAM, Radio to 2 594 AM, the oldest running radio station in Bukidnon, DXCRAM, 1386 AM, and DXMVAM, Radio UK 1134 AM. National circulating newspapers such as the Philippine Daily Inquirer, the Philippine Star, Manila Bulletin and Castigador Balita Mindanao, are available in the city. Several local Mindanao newspapers and tabloid sheets are also circulated locally. Notable people Mario Fernandez, a multi-medalist national boxer. Siemens Desiree de Dong, a volleyball player for Picari Sweat Lady Warriors. Efren Leo John Arable, represented the Philippines as a youth ambassador to ASEAN Korea Future Oriented Youth Exchange Program FOYEP, in Seoul, Korea on January 27 to February 2, 2016. Troy Valdehueza, a Bagong Rizal, PAG ASA Ng Bayan 2017 awardee. Roel Manlangat, a singer who had won the fourth season of Pilipinas Got Talent. References External links The official website of the City Government of Valencia Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information